Parliament today is a Desmond Wallace defended recent criticism of police actions following the Easter weekend disturbances. What many people fail to understand is the police are in an impossible situation. They're underfunded, they're undermanned. These men and women are putting their lives at risk daily to protect and defend the people of this country. Now, at last, someone who really understands the situation. Yes, Desmond never was one for sitting on the fence. No, what a marvellous man, eh? What a perceptive and intuitive mind. <laughs> However, Sir Desmond did not express the same admiration when he came to talk about the security services. In my opinion, the Security Service Act um, should be much more far-reaching. It doesn't go far enough in terms of public accountability, budgetary control, or rationalisation of resources. Well, the man's obviously a complete fool. <laughs> why, oh why, in these days of glasnost and universal detente, is there a need for two separate security agencies? What? Now, I intend to approach the ministers responsible to amalgamate MI5 and MI6. Amalgamate? And to put the new unit under the control of a special branch. And as such, make it answerable to the police. The police! Shut up, Morris! But, Andrew, don't you understand what this means? Instead of just catching spies, we'll be giving them bloody parking tickets. Then we'll just have to think of something. Won't you, Morris? Are you playing, Lewis, or what? Yeah, all right, all right. Don't rush me. <sighs> now, let me see. How much is it to stay in? 8p. Nah, forget it. <laughs> well, that was worth waiting for. Thank you, the Cincinnati kid. All right, who wants cards? Two, please. Dex. Just one for me, Elsa. And I'll have one as well. Yeah! Oh! <laughs> Good hand, Dex. <laughs> same. Well, I fold. Me too. Oh, no. Oh, no, you can't. Not when I've got a hand like this. Look. <laughs> oh, go on, then. We'll keep playing. <laughs> so we, uh, increase the stakes a bit. <laughs> oh, <my name>. <laughs> 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 Position one to control. Yeah, what is it, Trevor? Well, I just wondered if there was anything happening in your end. Well, Dexter's about to lose some money. Don't you believe it, son. I am on a roll, yeah? How are things with you? Uh, there's nothing happening. Everybody's still in the building. Yeah, well, stay in touch. Over and out. Okay, Dexter. Let's see what you got. Pay 21s. <laughs> what game are you playing? Two. <laughs> a five card. I've got a five card trick. We've all got five card tricks, you pillock. We're playing poker. <laughs> Me? Oh, I wondered why you'd all gone bust and hadn't said anything. Position one to control. Lift off, lift off. Subject's on the move. Right, squadron scramble. Here we go. <laughs> right, next item. By now, I assume you all watch the news and know what Sir Desmond Wallace is planning to do about the security services. I'm afraid that slipped past me, sir. Yes, Dexter. Well, I expect you switched off after Blue Peter. <laughs> I saw the item, sir. You mean the bit about him wanting to rationalise the various departments under the auspices of the police? Yes, that's it. Yes, I thought it made a lot of sense. <laughs> what? Well, after all, if we combined forces, then we'd have a much greater interchange of information and a more effective use of resources. We will not. 
Good God, man, don't you realise what will happen if we combine MI5 and MI6? We'll get MI11, sir. <laughs> Dexter. Yes, sir? Shut up. <laughs> if we amalgamate them, before you know where you are, they'll know what we're doing, we'll know what they're doing, and in no time at all... We'll know what we're doing? Exactly. <laughs> but no. no, no, I mean, yes. No, look, I mean, that's not the issue, Piglet. The success of this organisation depends entirely on secrecy. I've never told MI6 anything in the past, and I'm damned if I'm going to start now. But surely we're on the same side, sir. Oh, please. And as for taking orders from a bunch of stupid coppers... Hang on a minute, sir. I used to be a policeman. Yes, quite. <laughs> so what do we do, sir? We take positive action against Sir Desmond Wallace. You want us to arrange a little accident for him, sir? <laughs> 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 Oh, you wouldn't. But you can't. No, we don't intend to kill him, Piglet, at least not until we've explored other avenues. No, what I had in mind is discrediting him. Oh, goody, a smear campaign. My favourite. Oh, no, hang on. You mean we're just going to make up a pack of lies about the man just to compromise his integrity? Good Lord, no. Oh. No, what I want you lot to do is to dig into Wallace's personal life, his background, business activities, see what he gets up to. At the moment, his file is squeaky clean, but I'm sure if we dig deep enough, we'll find one or two skeletons in his closet. <laughs> yeah, excuse me, sir. Yes. You can't find skeletons in a closet if you're digging deep. It's a mixed metaphor, you see. I see. Thank you, Truman, for that invaluable contribution. Right, that's all. Oh, just one thing, sir. What happens if we don't find any dirt on Sir Desmond? Oh, then we start the smear campaign. <laughs> Yes, thank you, Lewis. I can manage. I'm just trying to help you with your mic. No, you're not. You're just trying to help yourself to a quick fumble inside my clothing. Because he's not doing mine. <laughs> Come on, you lot. Hurry up. Sir Desmond's been inside there nearly five minutes already. Which bar's he in? Saloon. Right, Flint, you go in first. Then in a minute, Pete will follow. Just stay in touch. You want to check your mics? One, two. One, two. Fine. Pete? Three, four, three, four. Good. Good job you're not testing the next one, and it takes. <laughs> yes, thank you. Here, pieces. Where's yours, Pete? In my pocket. Well, it's not going to do a lot of good there, is it? Stick it in your ear. Well, I can't. Not with my hair. People will think I'm deaf. They'll all be shouting at me. Someone's might spot it. He's right, Dex. Well, we've got to think of something. Excuse me. Yes, sir. What do you want? No, I don't want you. <laughs> sorry, I thought you did. Oh, no, no, sorry, yes, yes, I do. Well, make up your mind, sir. <laughs> Pint of lager, please. Make it two. Make it two. <laughs> uh, no, sorry, I mean, just, just one. Sure now, sir. It's just one you want. Yes? <laughs> Look, would you just shut up? I don't think you'd be like that, sir. I'm trying to help. No, I'm sorry. I wasn't talking to you. I see, sir. Are you all right, Piglet? No, I am not all right. People keep staring at me. That's because you're talking to yourself. Try and look natural. It's all right for you. You're not standing in a pub looking like Dusty Springfield. <laughs> right there, sir. Go and stand somewhere else. All right. I'll go and stand by the jukebox. Yes, you will, sir. <laughs> you dump it. Can you see Wallace? Yes. He's sitting at a table talking to two businessmen. I don't recognize them. Doesn't matter photograph them when they come out. Here, Ray. Keep an eye on that geezer in that dodgy syrup. I think he's a bit doolally. <laughs> now, listen, Piglet. When Wallace goes, you tail him. Flint, you take one of the businessmen, Lewis will take the other. Is that clear? Yep. In the meantime, just relax. Oh, it's OK. I'm in control now. 
That's all right, don't worry. It's just these voices I keep hearing, that's all. <laughs> He's going. All right, stay calm. Give him a few moments to get clear, and then you can follow him. Right. He's outside and has turned right up the road. OK, team, stand by. Steady, you can leave now. Go, 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 go! <laughs> I supposed to know that the two men talking to Sir Desmond Wallace were under investigation themselves? It was unbelievable, sir. The pub was packed with MI6, Special Branch, Customs and Excise, and us. <laughs> when we all left, it looked like the first day of Harrod's sale. <laughs> well, hardly my fault, Piglet. Nobody told me. In fact, nobody told anybody. Yes, well, that would rather seem to reinforce Sir Desmond's proposal for rationalisation of the forces, sir. Yeah, old Pete's got a point there, hasn't he, sir? Oh, do you really think so? Constable. It's a bad <laughs> point, though, isn't it, sir? You keep your stupid ideas to yourself, please. Well, at least we now know who Wallace was meeting. Their names are Adams and Ferris, two chaps who run some high-tech business in the Midlands. So why would I under surveillance, sir? Well, apparently they're suspected of shipping computerised weapon systems to various unfriendly powers in the Middle East. And what's Sir Desmond's connection? There isn't one, Flint. They're just a pair of his constituents, which is why we need to keep them under surveillance. Oh, but Sir Desmond must know he's being tailed. I mean, last time he looked round, 40 people turned in unison to stare into Mother Care's window. That's right, sir. It's not going to be easy carrying on after that. Well, you'll just have to do the best you can. In fact, I've decided that what you really need is some expert guidance. <laughs> so I shall be joining you later on this evening. And you'll be bringing this expert with you, will you, sir? <laughs> Just once. No, I'm not interested. Oh, please, sir. Just for me. Oh, well, if I were you, sir, you won't give up, you know. It's like a bloody mounty. <laughs> oh, very well. Something beginning with... <laughs> please, do it properly. I spy with my little eye... I spy with my little eye something beginning with... E. Escort. No. Hero. <laughs> no. Are you playing, Piglet? Electric sign. No. Entrance. No. Oh, well, come on, sir. We give up. It's Lewis. <laughs> no. no I, I don't think you've quite mastered the complexities of this game, sir. You see, the word we are looking for should begin with the letter you have given us. Yes, Lewis. <laughs> Wallace is still inside, sir. According to the porter, the flat is rented to a Miss Angela Wagstaff. Apparently, Miss Wagstaff has quite a number of gentlemen visitors. If you know what I mean, sir. Oh, I see. Well, I think we should pay the couple a surprise visit. Oh, excuse me, sir. We can't just go charging in without a warrant. Yes, we can, Piglet. Just follow me and bring your camera. Lewis, Dexter, you stay here. Uh, as a matter of interest, sir, what was the word beginning with E? Oh, Escatrian. And that's the carved stone shield on that building over there. Oh? I was going to say that as well. <laughs> Good evening, Miss Wagstaff. Sorry to crash in on you at this ungodly hour, but we've had a report of a gas leak. Where do you think you're I'm going? I'm sure you'll appreciate, dear lady, that we do have the statutory right of entry. Oh, yes. 
Oh, yes. Can't you smell it? <laughs> no. Piglet, you check out here on those around next door. Piglet? It's a, a nickname. Oh, that's a new one. You don't look very much like gas men to me. Oh? No, they're normally quite grubby, while well, you two are so neat. Well, it's, um, North Sea gas. You see, it's, <laughs> it's come through all that water. It's bound to be clean. <laughs> because that's the beauty of gas. <laughs> so, do you have any appliances in here? Oh, dozens. Why? Are you into all that? <laughs> no, no, I, I meant gas appliances. Oh, haven't heard of them. What do they do? <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> Well, nice place you have here. Oh, thank you. Well, you've got to keep up appearances in my game. Yes, I'm sure. Costs quite a bit, the rent, insurance, not to mention all the other overheads. Well, yes. I... <laughs> <laughs> if you're ever looking for company, you ought to give me a call. Very reasonable rates. All major credit cards accepted. Jolly good. I'm so sorry, Miss Wagstaff. I opened a cupboard door and all these fell on me. Mm. Better safe than sorry, eh? I bet that's the motto of your business as well, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> yes. Well, the last thing we want is a huge bang in the middle of the night. <laughs> I'll rephrase that. Miss Wagstaff, I wonder if you would be so kind as to show me your meter. Oh, we, we don't work like taxi drivers, darling. <laughs> oh, the gas meter. Yes. <laughs> right, through here. Ah. Yes, Miss Wagstaff, more than enough. <laughs> no, 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 this does not constitute evidence. But, Andrew, it's, it's Sir Desmond Wallace. I can see that, but it is not admissible. All this is illegally obtained material. In short, it just won't stand up. Neither will Sir Desmond after last night. <laughs> Listen, Piglet, what he gets up to in his spare time is his own affair. <laughs> and I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> but, Andrew, it shows a public official with a call girl. Good God, can't you see? We've got him all ends up. Well, much the same as Miss Wagstaff has there. <laughs> That'll do, Piglet. Look, I'm sorry, Morris, but unless you can produce something more tangible than this, I'll, I shall order the whole investigation dropped. I mean, good grief, man, don't you realise that upsetting Sir Desmond could ruin my chances of getting a knighthood. Not to mention a peerage. <laughs> Something amusing you, Piglet. Well, it's just the thought of Major Maxwell in the House of Lords, sir. Oh? Well, you know. Lord Maxwell of shh, I can't tell you where. <laughs> <laughs> Nevertheless, we can't afford to make enemies in this game. So, I'm sorry, gentlemen, you'll just have to find a different angle. Well, there's this one here. <laughs> I didn't expect to see you back so soon. Is this uh, business or pleasure? Could be both, you know. Actually, it's business. Oh, I'm surprised because uh, you're not wearing your overalls, which, if you don't mind my saying, oh, we're a lot smarter than what you've got on now. <laughs> well, we're not on duty. Oh, well. If you've got time on your hands... Well, would you like me to leave? Oh, no, you can stay. More the merrier, as far as I'm concerned. Well, actually, we just popped round to collect my boss's torch. He thinks he may have dropped it in your kitchen. Oh, right. I'll uh, go and look for it. Right. Oh, um, just one thing before you go. The question that's been bothering me. Last night, you had a man tied to your bed. 120 quid. <laughs> no, that, that wasn't actually the question. <laughs> That was Sir Desmond Wallace, wasn't it? Perhaps. Yes, I thought it was. 
So why did you call him Donald? I don't know, really. Probably because that's how he signed his access slips. Ho, ho, ho. His flexible friend, eh? <laughs> <laughs> right, well, um, I'll just go and look for your friend's torch. <laughs> You know, something's not right here. How can he get away with signing a false name on a credit card? There's a load of slips in here. Do you want to look through them? No, I haven't got time now. I'll do it later. Well, it's not in the kitchen. I'll have a look in the bathroom. Right. Here. Where's this famous bed you told us about? Oh. Described it. I mean, you've got to try these things, haven't you? I don't believe this. Anyway, it's not entirely my fault. They up the limit on my Barbie card. Oh, you haven't done it again, have you? Oh, up you go, Chunky. <laughs> chunky? <laughs> See you later, lads. <laughs> press conference, Sir Desmond went on to explain the reasons for his resignation. Well, it has been pointed out to me that I've been working flat out for too long. You're telling me. <laughs> the fact is that you can't expect to keep going at it hammer and tongs without, <laughs> without paying the penalty. Or in his case, £120. <laughs> so, from now on, I intend to spend uh, more time at home, enjoying the company of my beloved wife and my family. Thank you, gentlemen. Well, Morris, how did you finally convince him to go? Uh, well, you better explain, Piglet. Yes, sir. Well, we actually went back to Miss Wagstaff's flat and managed to get hold of a number of credit card receipts, including Sir Desmond's. Only the card he'd been using wasn't in his name, but in the name of Donald Sheridan. Yes, you ran a check on the card. It had been issued to Adams and Ferris Electronics Limited. But surely... That... Yes, that's right. They're the firm that have been breaking the export embargo to the Middle East. Now, apparently, they've been paying Sir Desmond large sums of money in return for which he's been smoothing the passage of their stuff overseas. And the credit slips tied him up with the company. As securely as Miss Wagstaff tied him to the bed, sir. <laughs> we suggested Sir Desmond that early retirement might be preferable to uh, an embarrassing prosecution. It's amazing how quickly he saw our viewpoint. Well, Peglet, it seems you've done a thorough and productive piece of work. Oh, thank you, sir. Yes, but on my orders, Andrew. Don't forget that. <laughs> yes. Well, all right, Piglet, that's enough. Back to work. Oh, if by any chance you bump into Lewis, ask him to come and see me. Some most extraordinary items are cropped up on his expenses sheet. <laughs> Actually, sir, I'd better take those receipts. Special branch, I want those. Ah, oh, that's all right, Piglet. I'll take care of it. All oh, right, sir, sir. Only there's no need for you to go rifling through all of those. I separated yours out earlier. 